This morning, new details of the terrifying moments 140 passengers faced just minutes after takeoff on a flight from Salt Lake City to Portland on Sunday. Sending below 10,000 for a cabin altitude warning. Delta 12 3 we're declared emergency. The Boeing 737-900 forced to make an emergency landing back in Salt Lake. The problem, Delta tells NBC News, the aircraft was unable to pressurize above 10,000 feet. One passenger speaking out to our affiliate KSL-TV. It felt like somebody was stabbing me in the ear. Passengers say they knew something was wrong, but the oxygen masks did not deploy. The plane would go higher, and then it would drop down. And then it would go higher, and it kind of dropped down. And you could tell something wasn't right, but they weren't saying anything. Some on board began bleeding from their ears and noses. I grabbed my ear and I pulled my hand back and there was blood on it. A gentleman about a row in front of me to the side, he said, can I get a tissue? And I looked out over at him and there's blood coming out of his ear, running down his face. And it's like, man, this is not good. The plane circled over the Great Salt Lake before making that emergency landing with medical teams treating 10 passengers on the ground. At least one says she's still recovering from a ruptured eardrum. It sounds like I'm underwater when I talk. In a statement to NBC News, Delta says it sincerely apologizes to its customers for the experience, adding the flight crew followed procedures and supported passengers with their immediate needs. Veteran pilot John Cox says events like this are uncommon, but he believes the pilots handled the situation properly. When you prioritize an event like this, it is not normal. And so we want to deal with it, but it's also not a full-blown emergency. Up to the point that you realize you have passenger injuries, and at that point, now I want priority handling back to the airport. Tom, I feel like there are so many safeguards on planes that prevent them from taking off. So yeah. how did this plane take off without the cabin being pressurized? Well, by the way, this only happens about half a dozen times a year. It is very rare. Bottom line, you can lose pressurization if you've got a bad seal around the window or, or a door or a valve. Even valves in the restrooms, for example. If they're not properly closing up, that can create this kind of a pressurization issue. We mentioned 10,000 feet as the magic number. You know, planes are supposed to be pressurized to 8,000 feet or below. You get above 10,000. If you don't have pressurization, people can start feeling the effects pretty quickly. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.